This guy has his drinking problem and just doesn't want to admit it. He makes every excuse in the book. It's my father's fault. He was an alcoholic. I inherited it from him. He makes a mistake and drives drunk. His girlfriend gets in the car, begs him not to drive. Trying to keep him safe. And of course, he's upset, yells at her. Who are you to tell me how to drive? I've only had a beer or two. Takes his eyes off the road for a second and her head goes through the window. Fortunate, they both survived. He was forced to go to court and luckily did not have to go to jail but had other obligations that um, were asked of him. Part of it was to continue to remain in AA and also do some community service. And part of the community service was he had to go back to his old high school and share his story, try to help others. He also has a younger sister that is at the school. So he does everything he can to try to get out of it. Can I go to any other school? It is so embarrassing. I will do four classes a week if I have to. And... The advice that she gave him, I loved it. She had said, once you start feeling the embarrassment of something, it's when you really start to realize the repercussions of your actions. Also, it's a lot easier when you're sharing your story among strangers. You go to AA and you know, you're telling your story over and over again, but these people don't really know you. Once you are forced to share your story in a more familiar environment, there is a much better chance of helping other people. And it doesn't have to be with just alcoholism. Even if it was bullying, you could end up helping the people who've wronged you without even realizing just by sharing your story. Sometimes, you know, they realize the... Um, repercussions of their actions they can control how they act and what they say but they can't control how people take it they can end up in depression suicidal so many different things just for a laugh a joke to make somebody feel small um there's also the chance of helping others that you don't even no, um, that younger sister he has in that school may have a friend or an acquaintance or somebody that's just in the grade that may relate more because it's closer to home. When you're able to finally say, this is me, this is all of me, and be proud of it and accept it, you'll be able to live a lot happier and healthier life. And the number one thing is never care what other people think because most of the times that's what got us in the problem to begin with. And this other piece of advice that I had received that I just love is the 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 um the meaning of life the most important thing of life is feeling and going through those things that we are most afraid of and are the hardest things for us that's how we know we're still alive that's how we know we're still here and that's how we know that we're still growing and learning <laughs>